Back in 1965, in the Dark Ages, when dinosaurs ruled the Earth, I flew from a little sugar plantation town in Hilo, Hawaii, and came to New York to go to school here at the U.S. Merchant Marine Academy at Kings Point. And this is the very spot, I don't know how many years ago, I used to come here as a little country hick. And I'd look at all these tall buildings, you know, and I'd go, holy, holy mackerel. You know, from a little sugar plantation town, the tallest building was that tall, to come to New York City and going, this, this is the heart of capitalism. So I had to ask myself, how in the world do I go from nothing to get to the top of these buildings? How do I go from here to owning buildings like this? That was kind of my goal, a dream. I'd come here with nothing and just dream. And so years later, if you look at that building over there, I was at the top of that one. That's Trump Tower. He's now President Donald Trump. I know a lot of people don't like the guy, but let me say something to you. Is how does a man like Trump get to the top of Trump Tower, and how do I get to the top of that building to spend eight years working with today the President of the United States? And that's the magic of dreaming, but it's not mental power, it's really the spiritual power. And that's what I talk to people about, is how you get out of your small little thoughts and dream big and go for it. So that's why I wanted to bring you here to Central Park. I spent so many Saturdays and Sundays here. My aunt and uncle lived not too far from here, and I used to come here and just dream. Look at these tall buildings. And I said, you know, someday I'll do that. So that's why I talk to young people about, young and old, is that you have that power in you, and you can accomplish anything you want. But that's what I talk about. How did I get to the top of that building over there to work with today? The President of the United States wrote two books with him and one of the best times of my entire life. It is that spiritual power that got me there, not my education, not my academic power. So that's why I wanted to see Central Park because right at this spot here, I spent many hours dreaming about what I wanted to do for the rest of my life. And I'm still doing that today. So how does one go from here to the top of Trump Tower, Tower there to actually be in this magnificent three-story apartment, Donald Trump's own home? How did it get there? How did I get there? So that's what I want to inspire people to do, you know? To look at what's possible in your life. Start small, dream big. Start small, dream big. And that's what I inspire people to do. So that is my work. You can do the same. Back in 1995, you see that sign up there that says Essex House? That was the tallest building here. When I was a young 18-year-old kid, I used to sit there and look at that and say, oh my God, look how tall that is. But you look at what's going on right now, these buildings are twice as tall. I can't believe it. So that's what's going on in the world today. I'm very excited to announce I'll be traveling the world, touring of success resources and the wealth masters. Because today, our financial education is more important than ever before. So, join me on the wealth masters tour throughout the world. And I'll ask one more question. What did school teach you about money? And for most people, the answer is nothing. Yet with a proper financial education, all of this could be yours too. All it takes is the right teachers, the right education.